Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Hey, what's going on, ladies? Okay, I'm coming in here because I want to set you up to win. I really, really do. And so I said, "Eh, today's podcast needs to be a little bit more informative and educational so I can help you all out. I was inspired by a conversation that I had with a very powerful sister and it has to do with your copy. I want you all to write stellar copy. I want you to get on your live streams or do your podcast, your recorded videos and communicate in such a manner that people are like, oh my God, I needed her yesterday. And a lot of you are trying, (laughs) you're trying to do that and you think, you think that you're doing that, but you're not. And so people approach me all the time for different reasons. And a woman actually approached me about working on a project with her. And I was like, oh, great. You know, yeah, tell me about the project. What's its name? You know, what's your target audience? And, you know, I'm looking to get the details. You know, what's the transformation that people are going to get? You know, so what do you need from me? What do I need to be prepared to talk about? And it's amazing how excited they were. But then they fell flat on answering the questions. And I was like, yeah, you know, well, you know, what is the lady going to get out of this? You know, well, she, she really, she's just, she's going to get unstuck and she's going to, you know, feel a lot less stress. And I was like, okay, in, in what way though? Because, because what overwhelms us, what stresses us? Everybody is different. So what people could be very overwhelmed and stressed because they can't balance a budget, but this isn't a, you know, a financial um, collaboration that we're doing. We're not going to be teaching financial literacy. And so I was like, Hmm, let me just, hop. I was like, let's just hop on a call, you know, let's hop on a call and let's talk about it. And so I started basically giving her the business, asking questions and, you know, kind of just throwing stuff out there to put her under some pressure. And she was like, but she kept saying, I got it. Y'all no, 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 no. I've done an avatar. Y'all I've got it. And yeah, I, I can tell you all those things about her, everything you could think of about her. And I say, yeah, but when I'm asking you these basic questions, you can't answer them. And so I'm going to tell her, tell you the same thing I told her. You need to know your ideal client like she's you, like she's your sister or your best friend, like she's that girlfriend that you had conversation with over a glass of wine who may say things a little bit differently when she's inebriated because we need to get to the raw and real truth. This this game that we're in called entrepreneurship is not about us being able to be eloquent and then put a bunch of marketing jargon together. And because we have, you know, our bullet points and our limiters and our bonuses that people are going to convert. 
you may consistently show up and post all the time. That's great. But if it is not a penetrating message, it's not going to convert. As I've seen people who just really resist the whole idea of creating posts that actually communicate experiences, communicate pain, communicate the desired results and the frustration with not getting there. It's kind of like, oh, I'm just going to put a post out and it's going to be, you know, you know, motivation Monday, you know, I'm going to put something out there, you know, and hey, what motivates you? I'm motivated by knowing I'm being true to my dreams, you know, just something that's just really basic, generic, and that's not going to convert people. And so when I say that I need you to know the essence of her, so if you're some kind of coach, I'm going to start, you know, rattling off maybe an example or two where you could be like, damn, you know, that's me. So I know a lot of people, you're a business coach and you happen to work with other women and the women that you work with happen to have children. And so for instance, time management may be part of their issue. And so you don't say, oh my God, this, you know, I want to let you know you need to opt in for my latest freebie or come to my latest program, you know, where you can learn how to get your time back and run your business with less overwhelm. Eh, Well, initially that catch phrase might catch somebody's attention, but what are you going to say after that to let her know that you know her dirty little secret? Yeah. Let me say that again. What are you going to say to let her know? That you know her dirty little secret. Because the vast majority of you, you're fronting. You're faking. You're online and you're posting these pics like you got it all together. You spent money. Hey, your pictures may look better than me or some of the other women. And your website may be better. And you may have paid top dollar for it. You running around making sure you still got business cards. Oh, you you that you that deal. You don't just have paper cards. You you decided to have digital cards, but you're still a hot mess when it comes to running your business. And you aren't really doing what you're supposed to be doing. So, the copy would say, "You know what? Running a business and being a mama ain't no fucking joke." You were able to accomplish a lot when you were in corporate America, duh, because you were gone and to the job and the kids were at daycare. But now you're more self-aware and you want to homeschool your kids or you want them with you and you're running this business and time is getting away from you. And sometimes you can feel so overwhelmed and stressed because things just don't seem to go the way they need to. When you get up and get the kids ready, there's always one that wants to spill somewhere or something somewhere. There's always the other kid that every time you turn around, they need attention and they want to play with you. And you're sitting there trying to not deal with mom guilt because you don't want your kids to think that your business is more important than them, but you're not making any money in your business. Because you can't sit down for two seconds and focus and actually create a product that people want. And people keep telling you to build this email list and, you know, you can't even sit down and create a freebie and concentrate on what the name is because you have so much going on and you need space to breathe. How do you manage running your business? And no, it's not about you not wanting to be disciplined, but you are at home and that laundry is staring at you and you need to cook dinner for your husband and you need to make sure that the dishes are washed and you're, you're not prioritizing. And while it's really simple and easy to say that you need to just leave the dishes in the sink and you need to let it sit there because if you had a regular job, then all of that stuff would still be there. It's not enough to know that's what you need to do. There's some mindset blocks and you're wrestling with the fear of success or the fear of failure. And so you do things that don't really matter, like post stuff on social media that isn't necessarily really penetrating for the sake of saying that you showed up, but it's busy, menial, damn near meaningless tasks because you'd rather say you did something instead of nothing, but you're steadily wrestling with the guilt that the reason why you're not making any money is because you know you really aren't showing up. And so talking like that, where somebody like, why she in my house? She in my kitchen? She see my clothes? That's the kind of conversation that you want to be able to have for somebody to be like, yep, this woman is all up in my freaking business. Okay. So overwhelm and stress, generic, basic terms. That's not selling. That's not selling at all. That's not penetrating your ideal client's mind. I want you to sign up for the five secrets that everybody needs to know in order to capture more clients. Click the link, go through the questions, see how well you can answer them. 
And if you begin to have some issues and you're like, I get this, I can see it. And August is right. I'm a little clueless on this part. Then go ahead and reach out to me, respond to the email, message me on Facebook, contact me via my website. I don't care how you do it, but reach out to me so that we can begin to strategize ASAP because you've still got plenty of time to make plenty of money. But for the end of the year, and you've got to get your skills together so that you can continue to make the money year after year, day after day, week after week, month after month. And don't forget, ladies, before I get out of here, the Authentic Collective Summit is around the corner. It's going down on December 11th. Make sure that you get registered because it's time for some of you to heal. All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real.